Uh, at the very end. We're going to get going now. Okay. All right. Here we go. So for today's career day project or career day themed project, what I want to do is a certain type of figure, and we're going to decorate it based on the career choice that you chose. Okay? So it doesn't have to be a career that you want to do. Any career you would like. Um, let's see, you got Thank you. All right. With that said, uh, make sure your paper is vertical like mine because we're going to be drawing it long ways like this or up and down, I should say. And again, like I said, it's going to be a character that we've done before in the past. All right, so here we go. So the figure that we're going to be drawing is a Lego. And what we're going to do is that we're going to make sure that this Lego can be any type of career that we want. So if you want to uh, erase some parts of your Lego figure, you want to make sure you do this in pencil. But if you're pretty confident that you don't need to erase anything, then marker is fine too. So I'm going to do my top head with marker. But I might want to do the top part of the Lego in pencil. So I'm going to do the top part, that's top rectangular part, in pencil because I might want to erase it later. All right, next step. You want to create the neck. The neck is a little bit wider than usual when it comes to a Lego figure. And actually, it's kind of matches the top a little bit because if you guys ever played with Legos before, the heads are kind of reversible. All right, next step to a Lego. You want to make sure the body is nice and straight, kind of like this. I'm going to curve the edges you can. Um, I did on my other drawing, but for this one, I'm going to make it a little more straight like that. All right, good job. All right, this next part, the arms. I'm going to make one I'm going from here, curving out and down. I'm going to attach it to the body. And then I'm going to try to do the exact same thing on the opposite end. Okay. Now, again, like I said before, um, you might have to do some parts in pencil because you might have to erase some things. So for me personally, I'm going to use a pencil for the claws because what if I want to add like something being held in the hands? So that's not going to work if it was done in marker. So that's why I'm doing this part right here in pencil instead. That way it's easier to erase parts of the claw if I need to. So this is just kind of like a safety for me. So I'm going to draw the claws in pencil just in case I have to erase parts of the claw. Could you slow down because I had to restart because my entire thing was like crooked. Okay. I will slow down as requested. With that said, we do have 10 minutes left, which is great. If we run out of time, you can always do this at another time. That's accepted too. All right, I don't have a Lego on me in particular, but I think my last Lego I did with the other class was a little wonky when it comes to the legs. So I think um, when I was looking at the Lego drawings from when I was looking up stuff earlier, I think I kind of get the idea of how the Lego legs are supposed to be like. So I'm going to draw it for you guys. I'm pretty sure that the legs have like this little base on the top of the legs like this. So it has the ability to attach. And then there is uh, a rectangle on one side. So kind of like this. And then there's a rectangle on the other side. And I think the legs are about like this close together. And then I think that there's a line uh, dividing up the spaces. So I think for the feet, I think there's one line right here. And then for the bend where the curve is for the other legs, it's right here. And I think there's another line for between the legs like right around here. And I think this looks better than my drawing I did last class. So I think last class, I think I made the legs a little too far apart. In my opinion, I think I did it a little too far apart. All right, so that is the gist of what I just did right now. And you can see I did the top of the head in pencil and the claws in, in pencil. And what I'm gonna do right now is I think it's best for me to share my screen on, or sorry, one of the tabs I have open to give you guys some inspiration of what you guys could do. 
All right, so I'm sharing the screen right here. Um, I found some examples just by looking at Google. So again, here is a good example of what I meant by uh, keeping it in pencil, because maybe you want to add hair. So you might have to erase some parts of the head. So here's another good example of not doing it in marker at first, because it looks like they erased a bunch of stuff on the top. Um, let's see, here is another one. So it's a little disproportionate, but they all look like they achieve the same goal, which is awesome. This looks like a soccer player. This bottom one looks like a soccer player too. It's awesome. Um, over here, it looks like an artist. Awesome. I'm pretty sure we have some more ones here. Uh, let me click on this one right here. Looks like this is an art teacher. Very well done. And this is what I meant by keeping the, the claws in pencil because it looks like they did some overlapping with some of the stuff that they're holding. So this is pretty smart. All right. Um, I think I can click on one or two more things. Here's another one. I don't know what careers they are, but it could be like they're drawing themselves, which is cool. That could have been the activity of whoever did this for their class. This is a really good one too. Oh, they did the shading. Look at the shading that they did. They went from white to dark. And they made it look more three-dimensional. That's really neat. I like how they colored that. All right, so that is all I'm gonna share. Maybe just look, just one more. That's a cool one. Okay, so again, you guys can decorate your um, Lego guy any way you'd like. I'll leave the presentation up for a tad bit longer. Um, maybe I can click on it. Does that do anything? No. Let's see, how about this? There you go. Maybe that's a little better, and I'll leave that one up. All right, so for right now, you guys have about six more minutes. You guys can decorate any way you want. I'll leave my Starbucks guy up here. Maybe for this other one, I'll draw an astronaut, or maybe a math teacher, or a science teacher, or maybe an art teacher. I haven't decided yet. So you guys have plenty of time to do what any career that you'd like. Mr. Mill? Yeah, what's up? Um, is there any um, doctors? That um, not from the know? examples that I've seen. Um, I can probably try to look for one for us all to see. Pardon my typing. Um, I see a couple, but they're like more three-dimensional. Um, I can try to show it to everyone on my screen. This is what I found. So it kind of has like the stethoscope and then the, the red plus sign on the chest. So this is what it looks like when it's colored. Um, so that's all I could find for a doctor. So that's pretty cool. No problem. I'm gonna keep looking. Is it okay? Yeah, um, once we're done looking at these things, can I show, I think I got the hang of it now. Can I show you what I was doing before in the middle? I, I mean, at the beginning of the class? Uh, we'll do it at the very end, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Because I think a lot of people are still trying to draw. And I did find a better image, so I'm going to pull this up instead. Um, it's this one right here. I thought this would be a really cool one to show you guys. Here we go. These are more careers I've seen. They're actual Legos. Pretty neat. All right. It's 11.26. So you guys still have a couple more minutes to go. Um, Gio, I see your hand up. What's your question, buddy? I don't have a question, but I see somebody from the Lego movie. I see Emmett. Oh, well, cool. Maybe that's what this picture is from. Good job, everybody. We will keep working for a tad bit longer. 
Um, we shall make sure that we have everything situated here. All right, keep working, guys. I think I found another one. And I think I want to share this one too. There's more career uh, oriented Legos. So these are more obvious careers, probably. This, Mr. Mill? Yeah, what's up, Abik? Just look at mine. Whoa. Awesome job. All right, with that said, why don't everyone, everyone show me what they've done just by showing it to the camera if you'd like. All right, awesome job. If you didn't finish, that's okay. If you didn't finish, that's okay. All right, I'm gonna stop presenting. And I'm gonna turn my camera around because I don't think you guys need to see my examples anymore. All right, Alyssa, give me one sec. We're going to wait until everyone uh, is ready to go. I'm going to stop recording, though.